Well, I'm excited today. Today we're doing a long-awaited, probably one of the last videos that I have promised to do when I haven't done, and that is a variation of this guy that I did way back in, I think it was January 2019. Since I made him, people have been asking, make the make the Bigfoot, make the Bigfoot, and I keep saying, ah, I want to, but uh, I never want to get too caught up in the, with the mouth. So what we're doing today is we, we, we've tweaked the design so we can make it uh, your friendly little Bigfoot. We have also can make it a little blue monster with a lollipop. We can do a Cyclops with a pickle. <laughs> a little, little green looking man. You can have a, a Bigfoot with a with a, a duck on a duck on a string. <laughs> it's whatever you want to make it. So basically what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you through the steps and uh, you can vary, go off on your own tangent, however you want to do it, but it's just a fun little carving project and it's one that you can uh, just make whatever you can think of. Whatever your imagination can make, you can make it with this, uh, like I said, monster, Bigfoot, Cyclops, sky's the limit. So uh, yeah, I'm excited. But first of all, we're going to use a piece of basswood, an inch and a half by an inch and a half square by four inches tall today that's what we're going to be using and uh yeah let's just dig right in all righty here's our block of wood an inch and a half square by four inches and the first thing we're going to do as we always do is find half and let's mark some center lines on here all right you go right across the top as well just so i know where i am and that's where we are. Let's come up here a, a half an inch or about 15 millimeters, right? And that's our, that's our feet, okay? Then we're going to come up uh, two inches or roughly 53 millimeters, okay? And also we're going to come up two and seven eighths and three and a quarter, all right? And that's both 72 and 82 millimeters so 53 millimeters 72 and 82 okay those top ones there that is just roughly our nose okay so we won't lose that that is our uh, our chinny chin chin bring it right to both sides okay and then we're gonna have a little hand holding something here so we're gonna come up 25 and 44 millimeters or seven eighths and one and three quarters, roughly. Okay, and we'll bring them to just shy of center. Okay, and that's center, so we'll just keep it back just a little bit. Okay, so that's our one hand. All right. Now we need to have the uh, the back of the head, and if I uh, take my tape here and come up. There's a, make sure you get the back <laughs> 25 mil or, or one inch that's kind of the bottom of the butt and up two and a half inches or 65 mil and that's kind of the, the back of the head we need this line here just to uh to join across to that front okay that's how we get that angle all right okay and then our hand then, which is going to bring that back, you know, if we follow that line there with this, kind of like that, and that's the elbow right here. So we're going to bring that one right across. Okay. And oh, one more thing, just over from center, we'll put a mark down and then a little bit, give a little bit extra on the back side here. And that's going to be our arm. And that's going to be cut off at the bottom of the foot level okay and then the bottom let's just put a few marks on here just to you know, thin the, the feet up all right so so let's have a look here all right so our side that's our arm that's our arm okay this side you can see that's our arm down and across down and across and our head you see our back Oh, I didn't get that line on there. The bottom of the the bottom of his tushy. See, there's nothing really set in, just kind of swelled down. All right. 
So I hope that makes sense. Let's grab our knife. I'm going to use the inch and three quarter inch OCC tool knife again. And we'll just dive right in. All right. So I'm going to start at that hand. I'm going to come up. Just get underneath that hand right away, right off the bat. I'm going to cut it in right up to the, uh, the front line. I'm going to go to the back here. I'm going to come right off. Now, the thickness of the elbow here, we just kind of go about that much, okay? And the, although this is still rough, we're going to bring that line, that cut right over to the edge there. We're going to cut that down. So there is our arm is set. We're going to dig it out of the back right here after. But let's just get that in there. So we know exactly where that is. And for the elbow here, let's just get that set into the inside elbow, I should say. Is that called? That's not the inside elbow. What, you, what would you call that? You know, the inside elbow. <laughs> What is it called? What is it? Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. I'm going to set it in the front here too. Right. What a dumb question. Inside elbow. What is he talking about? Down the front. Alright. We're just going to bring that around. We're just going to go around this whole guy. And we're going to set in all of our, our landmarks. So there's our arm. Let's set in the feet then. And you can see we're not going to need that anyway. Actually, let's just thin these to these lines here. So it's going to come across easy peasy. From the butt here, this is the back. We're just going to give that a little, a little swoop, a little swooping cut. All right, just to give that little, little tushy, a little swale. All right. See that? See like that? A little swoop. Let's take our center line. Let's put that in here before we uh, a little nick just so we don't lose a pencil line. And we got a that thickness there. This is the bottom of the hand of the straight arm. And basically that's going to be the thickness that we want to take off, okay? So we're gonna cut that straight across right now. Alright, and then take that line. Straight across. All right. Like so. Okay. So we take a little bit more off this side to get that line. There we go. And then just across the feet. I can bring that down. center mark a little, a little cut for our feet okay there that looks wonky doesn't it so what we're gonna do let's uh take this chin out of here all of my v cuts that the line is the center all right Now, we don't want to dig a hole too much in here, and we'll see more about that later. But we're going to leave that alone. We're going to come across up here a little bit. Now, let's come right across here. We're not going to touch the back line at all. In fact, we're probably going to lose most of this little neckline. But for now, we'll, we'll get her cut in. Now in the back here, this is coming up on an angle. Right up on it. Actually, we skipping too far ahead. Let's get that arm cut in there. So we're gonna make some real nice deep cuts down that line. Deep cut. The harder that you can press, make sure it's not gonna flip or roll on you because that's a sure way to cut yourself. But the least amount of cuts on these, the better. 
so you don't get too many of these little little cuts that you can't get rid of after. So I know where the tip of my knife is, so I'm just going to run that down. I'm just going to pop that right out of there, break it out of there. All right, and now I can see my knife. There. All right. Like so, and again, this is rough. Don't get too uh, too worried about it. And there's our arm appears. Okay. Okay. I'll take that front corner right off there. Let's jump up to the head real quick. Just start taking some corners off. You can always gauge where you are from the center line to where you haven't cut. See that? That's why I love these center lines. Okay, now we can get that back in. Come down. Down. Okay. And the back, this is the, uh, what I said was the back of the head. We're going to bring that kind of like the, the butt that way. We're going to do the opposite way here. This give them a little bit of a, a little bit of a hunchback. All right. Don't, I'm taking monster bites, just take little bites. If you can't go across like that, you start at one side and you work it across. No problem. All right. Around that around. See how I got that little swoop there? All right. He looks awful, but he's pretty much roughed in. Okay. Let's go back to this arm. Cut that chin. Okay, we want him to have a little bit of a gut, so we're going to start bringing it down here. But we want a little bit more wood removed from the hand there. Okay. Now this is pretty square. We can take off all these corners of the hand. Take that flat there and then come across on an angle and then come down on an angle. Take that little inside corner out. Okay. All right, let's bring this back under the chin. Kind of neaten this all up. Don't think I don't know that every time I go like that with my knife, you can hear it. <laughs> Try not to, but every time I hear it, I'm like, don't. Okay. Now we're gonna bring our shoulders in. This side too. All right. Trying to keep it symmetrical, but it's difficult with the one straight arm and one bent arm. Because see this here? That's now we can we can take that out a little bit there. We're gonna bring that around. We've separated the elbow from the back. Bring this side, trying to match the sides as best you can. Like I said, this is just, uh, it's funny with the elbow sticking in so far. But this bottom here, 
all we're gonna do with that is we're gonna come up just another butt crack here. We're gonna come down nice and deep. Stick your knife in here just to give it a little little swooping cut. Same on this side. Just gonna stick that tip in there and roll it around. Right. Now remember this is a monster, it's not a human, so we don't really have to get too worried about the perfect legs because hope and odds are like can you really tell if you, once you start putting some fur and stuff in them all right so and we just don't want any sharp corners or untouched corners but we're getting there now from the belly here i want to I get those feet down a little bit more it's kind of hard to work underneath here but it's around the get the corners off the feet. All right. Both sides. Right. Now the inside, you know this cut, this is our favorite cut here, a little 45 degree. A little 45 degree. I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna come down, pop that chip out. Okay. There it goes. And we're gonna round these feet. I'm not gonna really make shoes, it's more of a foot, so fur foot, so we're gonna round them. I'm actually bringing them back a little bit of an angle. Alright. Okay, same thing for this leg here. We're gonna go right in that little center hole. I'm gonna stick my knife in there nice and deep. I'm going to put the knife back in on the angle, back in on that angle. Same thing, I'm going to go back and just take that little chip out of there. Come down the other side, chip out of there. Clean her up a little bit, but this don't start, uh, it's so funny, once you start digging, you can keep digging a hole in there and it just gets dirty, so try to keep your cuts minimal. Get my brush here. My brush a little. All right. Okay. You can see that's straight like that. Let's give them a little bit of a, a little bit of a curve down. See that? So we won't be able to see it underneath here very good. Just gonna swoop that down a little bit on that side. The hand is yet to come on this side. But some dirty cuts there. But let's look at where we are. We got our arm down here. We got a little butt, leg separated, elbow, arm separated. Okay. You can kind of. Try and keep it clean as you go too. If you see something, just stop and clean her up. Right. But I think we're okay. Nice little pot belly on this guy. Spending time fiddling with this. Okay. There we go. Let's attack the head. Okay. So, if that's our nose, let's go from almost the middle of our nose here. Just start working that over. Kind of watching the, uh, the lines on top. Right. We'll just do the same thing in the back. And all the way around the head. Right. See when you when you think the lines on the top aren't necessary, just they're just nice to have to, to keep you guided where you want to go. Alright. 
we can actually go even a little bit uh, deeper and thin that down a little bit. And we create a ridge there too, so we want it all uniform, it's nice and we just want it nice and smooth. Lots of little cuts. We don't have to do any big planes on this guy. You have to thin that down a bit. Alright. And we'll just bring that back there too. Now let's just close her in on top and uh, round them up. It's a little bit flatter on top, but that's pretty much it. See that? So you just gotta look around and anything that's out of place, but that looks pretty good. Kind of like a little lump of your head. All right, fairly symmetrical. So I'm looking at the center line, I'm looking at both sides, I can see there's a little bit more meat on this side, so off it goes. If you're coming down and the uh, the grain bites, your, it starts pulling, just flip your knife around and go the other way. But uh, I think we're doing okay. Bring it down to the front. Let's stop. Let's say we want to uh, to drill a hole in our hand here, okay? That's all I did with that. This guy just has a hole from the top. It doesn't go all the way through. Some of these go through. Well, now look what you did. Our green man, greeneries, was lovingly put in there and I just yanked it out. Hey, anyway, put him back. But these guys here, like this uh, pickle that was uh, drilled all the way through. Okay, see that? So all I do is I use these little uh, little craft sticks here. Pick them up at the dollar store, and they're good for many many purposes. And like I said, I just carved a little pickle. And uh, this fella over here, you can see he's holding the, the duck on a string. So I just tie a string around and the duck, there's a tutorial for that duck on my channel. But uh, yeah, just quirky little things. So whatever you decide to do, you know, the lollipop's fun. A flower, a little flower with the face. And uh, well, here's the original guy has a flower as well, right? That can come out. See? So... Whatever you decide to do, you need to match your drill bit to your, your dowel. And before we carve the hand, I would recommend just marking where you want to put your hole. And then just drilling your hole down, keeping it on a bit of an angle. So you see everything is flared a little bit of an angle. There's nothing really straight down because you're going to run out of drill bit. If this is your drill, okay. We got that off of Amazon. It's a handy little thing. And uh, you're just going to drill that down, okay. But don't try to be too straight because your uh, drills are even shorter. You'll be hitting the, the drill in the head immediately. So you want to go a bit of an angle and then just drill your hole. But I'm not going to do that. This one's just showing you what you can do. So I'm just going to keep on trucking here and uh, pretend we have a hole because I'm not going to make anything with it. All right. So after you got our, your hole drilled then, then you can just go ahead and round that hand a bit. Okay. And what I've been doing on the side too is just kind of bringing in a little, see a little slice here, a little slice, just to give a little bit of a, a little hand uh, feel, a little bit, just a little wrist action. Right? Right. Let's take this. Let's set these right in here. Give them some good little wrinkles, even though it's. Not, it's not clothes, it's fur. It's nice to have these little 
cut there, okay? Take that bottom corner off. Kind of round the hand around. All right. And then, always our thumb comes out like so. See that? Well, I'll show you. I'm going to come down, cut in there. Okay. I'm going to come across. I never want the thumb to come out to the fingers. I want the thumb a little bit shorter than the fingers. So, see we did that? And you'll, if you have a hole there, it's a, the hole is a perfect stop for your thumb, okay? And then you can, you can round your thumb. All right, and round the fingers back. Flatten that out a bit, okay? Now we're just gonna go uh, three. So we're gonna put a center line another line and another line all right three we'll do go straight in each way straight in and cut this way this way straight in like so okay now we do it back one more straight in straight in straight in angle Angle, 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 angle. All right. And you can trim them up any way you like. Take a little bit off of here. All right. Smooth those edges. Pinky fingers a little bit long. We'll keep bring them back a little bit. But that's the idea. All right. Same thing on this side. If this is about halfway, half inch, I should say. We're going to give that slight little, little cut. Just a flat little cut there, okay? Just a little. Come on. Okay. Ends it here. See, it just kind of shows the difference from the arm when you transition to the hand. All right. It's a little bit rough still. But. Okay, bring that down a bit. And the same thing. This is your, your thumb. But we don't want a full thumb, so we want to shorten that thumb right there. So we're going to take that bottom little piece off of here. All right. And then we're going to bring that thumb down. Like so. Take the corner off. Alright. Round that a bit. Okay. Looks like a thumb. Same thing. Center. One. Come on. Two. Okay. Let's take these little slices. That's a little bit too big, but. Alright, I'm just going to bring that down. See that pinky? Pinky's too big. Bring that pinky back. And this feels more like it's uh, rounded, or not rounded, but the hand is a little bit cupped. So you can do the same thing on the very bottom here. Just to give that feel that the fingers are kind of curled. Alright. Something like that. All right, we don't want any, any of these sharp angles. All sharp edges should go. Let's round that down. All right. Well, there you have our, our hands. Okay, and we can hold whatever in the sand hill you can think of. Drill your hole and uh, stick something in it. All right, up to the head. Now, if that's our nose, okay, we're going to come in here. This is where you have to decide, okay, this is the fun part. Let's say you want that, that silly Cyclops, all right? We're just going to go from there, and we're going to do this anyway, but we're just going to, we're going to thin that, uh, thin that up, and it's more so on, on the Cyclops. To give them the one eye. You see that? 
but we're not going to do that. We're going to go a little bit on the angle down. And we're going to bring that down like so. Cutting that shelf in there for the double eyes. Keeping it nice and centered. Okay. Put him back up on there. There you go, buddy. Okay. Now we're going fairly deep on this. You see that? See the depth? Fairly deep. Okay. We'll go underneath the nose. We'll get the nose a bit straight to start with. All right. And then we'll just come down one side. Only as deep as this, though. Okay. And we're going to slide our knife along there. And pop that side out. We're going to pop that side out. See that? It's fairly clean. Okay. We're going to bring that nose back a bit. Let's stick to the corner. See that? We're going to that side. That side. Like so. And take the angles off. Alright. There's our nose for now. Alright. Alright. We can even go that, see, we, that's all we got left is a little bit of a, a shelf here. We can go a little bit deeper even. Remember these cuts are not straight down, they're a little bit angled back, you see that? They're not flat. Alright. But, okay, before we draw in our, uh, our eyes, we can take these smile lines and keep them out here. Alright, you want them the same. The higher you go, if you look at these, look at this one here, see that one? His actually has a little bit of a curl to it. I made them all a little bit different. This guy here, his are even down straighter. Alright, so you can play with those and you can see all the different ones, but we're going to uh, stick our knife under that angle and get it in deeper. Under the angle, under the nose I should say. Okay, and we're going to come down here, and we're just going to take that whole little corner out of there. See that? Same thing on this side. Come down, and pop that whole little angle out. Pretty much from the center of the nose. See that? A little bit of rounding in here. Not too much, but one little fuzzy in there. Alright, now we can draw our big smile, little smile, straight smile, but let's keep this guy super happy out here. Big smile. Let's do his eyes. I like to do the eyes upside down. Something like that. And uh, see all these guys, they have the uh, the eyelids too, so we're going to do them on this one. So let's just go ahead and uh, cut in our eyes. A bit of a back angle. Take your time. You only want to cut it once. Alright. A slice on the bottom here. We can pop a little chip out of that side. Slice on the bottom here. We'll pop a little chip out of this side. All right. Now I'll just go up and around. All right. There's our eyes. Step one. We got pencil lines there, so we can just kind of shave them off. All 
All right. I'm happy with that. So let's just put in some uh, eyelids. All I'm doing is a straight line right across like that. Easy peasy. Let your knife do the cutting. Don't try to push too hard on that. And we're just going to kind of come up to it. There you go. And if you want to separate them, just put a straight cut down the middle. Up one side. Down the other side. Down. There you go. I always like to take that little of the eyeball, take that little chip out of there too. Now let's just give them some eyes so you got something to look at. Alright. There's our eyeballs. Our smile. We'll just go in there like so. Right. That was a little bit of an angle, a little bit of an angle down again too. We don't, we want it thin, but we don't want it too thin. So we want a nice deep cut. You see that? All right. Now we can, uh, we can put little stop cuts here on the end of our smile. Take a little chip out. See that? Taking a little chip out of this side. Alright, <laughs> he looks like a Gumby. So I'm going to come down just below the lip here. We're just going to take a little bit of the lip here. A little cut, and then right up into that little... See that? Give him a little, little lip. So we're fatter on the bottom. Kind of going into... Uh, Up into nothing almost, all right. So I'm gonna shave that down right into that corner. See that? I'm gonna shave that down so it's flush when it gets to the edge, all right. And that chin's a little bit wild, so let's take some of the chin out of there. Nice little lip on them. There you go. So, so a couple things to remember. Always from the nose, we want to remove that temple area. Right. Thin it down a bit. Now let's come across here. Take that off of there. Take that edge off of there. And you can play with this so much. You can make so many different creatures with this little little plan, but a goofy looking guy. Most of these guys, his smile is about the same size, but uh, you can go bigger smiles, bigger pointy chin. I kind of I kind of like this guy here with the uh, bit of a longer face and a thinner head. All right. This one here, I just did this one this morning. He's got the fat head, right? But yeah, you can't go wrong. It's whatever, you, it's whatever you make it. Like this guy here, this little lollipop. But pretty much the same head on this guy, but the bigger smile. I kind of like that smile bigger. So maybe make your smile right across. It's a nice big smile. But anyway, many, many things you can do. I should give you your sucker back. Sorry. You can talk to your monsters. But from this point, you're basically done. Now, if you want to do something more, you can take your... Uh, 
you can take a V tool if you have one and uh, see the top of his head here I gave him gave him fur all the way around and it's just by taking your V tool and you know cutting in some fur don't get too carried away less is more sometimes like this is not too many cuts in that that's just I dry brush the high spots with a darker green than the base so it shows off more but you don't want to go super heavy with the with the fur cuts but you know just here and there is really all you need to do but that's pretty much our uh, our little monster slash cyclops slash bigfoot whatever you want to call them I hope you like it I hope you have fun with them I hope you experiment like I said I was doing these over and over again and I thought oh, I'll make a cyclops so yeah whatever they're holding like my goodness I was giggling like a schoolgirl thinking of things to put in them this one here was I, I laughed with the idea of the pet duck and the lollipop a pickle this guy here I he reminded me of a green man so I just stuck some greenery in his hand and uh yeah sky's the limit so have fun with it and uh i guess it's time to time to close up the video all right guys we've made our little bigfoot cyclops monster whatever you want to call them and uh yeah like i said have fun with it and I, before I go, I got to say thanks to all those who uh, bought me a coffee this week again. Always appreciate it. And uh, again, with Americans, uh, if you use the Amazon link, another way to support the channel, a few pennies here and there if you're using Amazon anyway. Like I always say, support your uh, small local stores first. But uh, if you can't, if you use Amazon in the U.S., if you use the link in the description, that will... Uh, throw a few pennies my way and uh, merch is available as well so like I said I hope you like these videos and I don't know coming in the summer how many more actual tutorials we'll be doing but uh, we'll definitely be doing some carving some outdoor stuff and some demonstrations so uh, stick around and uh, I'll catch you on the next one so thanks for watching you guys and uh, have fun carving <laughs>